Welcome to AutoCard. My name is Dimitri and today with you we're going to check out 1967 Chevy Chevelle. This is an amazing quality restoration. Uh, we have the whole book on the restoration. You can request a scan of the uh, photographs and images. Uh, here is the book. Uh, check this out and it's go, it goes in the chronological order and you can see all of the de details, how this restoration was done, how it took place, uh, the original condition, all the original stickers, uh, the engine work, as you can see right here, and the images go on and on and on to tell the story of the beautiful and amazing and a very, very thorough professional restoration. You can, you can see how it was done. And of course, I have the car behind me to prove that this work <clears throat> lasted, paid off, and we have an amazing car to enjoy um, and to offer for your consideration. As you can see here through these images, everything was done uh, just above and beyond uh, as far as quality procedures and how things were done and it's it's a very very impressive book you can see uh, how things were done and at the end at the very very end you have a beautiful product with beautiful trophies and uh, this product made its way to one of the um, uh, best collections in the united states and then it was sold to one of our local customers who enjoyed it for almost 10 years. He enjoyed the ownership, uh, drove very little, probably about uh, less than 600 miles. And we just went through this car in our shop, uh, mechanically, cosmetically was very nice, mechanically was very nice. We, we did a few, you know, small typical things. Uh, you'll find all the details in our listing on alphacars.com. And with this video, I just wanna, share with you what I see uh, for, for the vehicle quality, for the quality of restoration, for the, how this car holds up, and everything from the little piece of hardware to the proper uh, part. And by the way, the most, well, not the most, but an important element throughout this restoration, the team that worked on the vehicle decided to um, basically turn it into an S, uh, super sport uh, super sport appearance vehicle. So it's got the 396 engine. It's got everything that a super sport would have from the factory, the way this car looks. But obviously this was turned into a super sport. That's why it is priced for significantly less, like almost half price of what an SS would go for these days. So let's keep going through the details here. Uh, we were given, and we obviously uh, are sending it with the car. This is the original stereo system that uh, radio that came with it. Uh, these are all the radio knobs, floor mats, as you can see, the quality of restoration went to the, all the proper details as far as proper washers under the bolts, proper grommets, uh, proper finish and texture of the finish on the inside the trunk, obviously proper electrical connection, proper placement of the spare wheel, right color on the bracket, on the wing nut, you can see the stickers, it's done right. And anyone that we have seen here that looked at it, they're like, oh my God, this is a beautiful car. And absolutely, it is a beautiful car. So let's keep going with our inspection of the vehicle. As you can see, all the moldings are nice and straight. The clear coat finish is impeccable. Uh, there are no blemishes that I can report under the clear coat in the pink metallic. The metallic distribution is even and the, and, and the metallic particle size and distribution consistent with uh, this color 
for this vehicle, for this vintage. Look at all the right details. Here's the, um, for the air suspension, you can connect the air holes and uh, change the rear suspension height. The back window of the convertible top, as you can see, is beautiful, nice and clear. We have the boot for the top, it's inside. The top itself is in impeccable condition. We're stretching it so it's connected to the, it, it's, uh, as you can see, it's connected to the windshield, nice and tight. Look at the, there are no gaps there. Yeah, let's take a peek in the interior. Carpets, door jams, there's nothing flaking, no, um, no signs of, you know, bodywork. Of course, this car had bodywork, but it's beautifully done. Just check this out. It's beautifully done. So those men that we see on the photos, we're very thankful to them for their thoroughness. And this was a huge project. And to be consistent and to deliver the quality that they did, throughout the completion of the project is extremely impressive. The seats are beautiful. There's no wear anywhere. It's, it looks like it's a recent restoration, but actually it isn't. And the fact that it held up so, so well over the years is a nice indication that it will continue to perform the same way for years to come. Again, all the molding, stainless steel and aluminum, nice and straight. Doors closed, nice and solid. Yeah, look at all the moldings around the pillars. No waviness, everything is just nice and straight. Actually, a couple of tiny little dings, like you can barely see them, but since we are very thorough, we're gonna show them to you. Overall, when you look at the moldings on different angles, they look nice and straight all the proper details on the hood. Yes, it is a 396 with a turbojet. Look at all the chrome in the front. Look at all the details. And uh, we will try to get this vehicle on the lift, so that might be another uh, video for the underbody. The underbody is equally, if not more impressive, than the exterior of the vehicle. Proper wheels. Let's take a peek under the hood. Doing it with one hand. Okay, wow. Yeah, that's how things should be done. Period correct battery proper battery tie down, proper ground, proper ground strap hardware for fender mounting. It looks like the car just rolled off of the GM factory. Sound deadening material and heat um, insulation is properly installed. The engine is beautiful. I talked to our technician who worked on this engine and he was absolutely impressed with how it is all put together. And inside under the valve covers, we replaced valve cover gaskets. It's all brand new. It is essentially a brand new engine. And look at the exhaust manifolds. Uh, there's no discoloration because of the heat. Since restoration, this car ran very, very little. And it drives beautiful. It sounds absolutely awesome. So it's been here for maybe a week. So we're going to give it a cold start. As you can see, I'm putting my hand on the exhaust manifold. It's room temperature. So we're going to try to give it a quick start and see how it goes. That's not the place to leave the key, but it's better than leaving it in the trunk in the GM car. 
especially after you close the trunk. So let's get this started. Yeah, the, the interior smells beautiful. The steering wheel is beautiful. The wood is impeccable. The clear coat, uh, all the brush stainless steel is in great condition. Uh, the machine detail on the horn button is impeccable. The whole car is impeccable for that matter. So let's get the key in. Turn the ignition on. Wow. Wow. It started like a fuel injected vehicle. We're actually going to take it outside. The engine sounds beautiful. Really, really smooth. So we had the car running for maybe three, four minutes for the engine to work up uh, to warm up and for the choke to uh, open up it has an automatic choke and now it's running off choke it's running nice and smooth and it's reasonably loud it's got a good healthy sound from each one of the exhaust systems uh, driver side and passenger side So let's get this out of the showroom on a daylight and let's take a walk around it. I love the sound of this engine. We're officially in reverse and I'm showing you the frame of the soft top which is, uh, I saw the pictures, how it was restored. That was a great job and it shows, look at this. Putting it in drive and check out the clock. This beautiful clock, it works beautiful. It clicks every second and it actually shows accurate time. The steering is nice and smooth. We're going to take it around the building just real quick before we park it and walk around the vehicle actually maybe we just take it down the street why not it's got a good healthy fit sound from the engine and from the exhaust it's beautiful steering is nice and straight the steering wheel is straight the vehicle tracks straight it feels like it has enormous power and I'm sure it does it's like I'm barely touching the gas pedal and this thing it just wants to go transmission just downshifted beautifully it, it was like the best AMG Sport Shift transmission of the Mercedes AMG line. It was just a, such a nice, smooth downshift and quick engagement uh, on the downshift. So I'm very, very impressed with this. Beautiful running car. Absolutely impressed with it. And it takes bumps effortlessly. Uh, I know this road. There are some uh, bumps here. And blinkers work click and blink it's got a nice sound oh my god 
and inside the vehicle it is so rewarding it's so premium it's so quality it, it it's i'm enjoying it i may have to take this home perfect day for a convertible that's for sure drives very very nice so we're gonna bring it back to Alpha cars and we'll take a walk around the vehicle and look at the body panels on the daylight we looked at it in the showroom Wow I love the engine and the transmission and going over bumps, it's nice and premium. It's very, very comfortable. No rattles, no knocking sounds. You can tell everything is just super nice and super tight. This is the rear view. And the brakes, they feel, they feel strong and responsive and I'm in control of this big, heavy car. You touch, touch the brakes and it just slows down. No vibrations, no delay. Excellent connection between the pedal and the reaction of the vehicle to the driver's input. And all the gauges are nice and crisp. Uh, the, the glass and chrome and buttons, everything is uh, top-notch quality. Absolutely. So we're going to pick a spot to park it. Yeah, let's hear the engine before we shut it off. Check this out. A lot of body panels on this car and they are very, very, very straight. All the body lines, if you look at it, very, very straight. Let's take another view at this vehicle. We'll look at it kind of from the top. Check this out. That is a nice car. There are a lot of nice cars. And tell me if you were here with me, which one would be the most exciting one? Here it is. It's a beauty. It is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful car. Amazing restoration. And a beautiful, beautiful car. So let's hear the engine. Here's your top on a daylight. Here's the fit and finish in the front. Windshield is impeccable. Here is the engine that runs beautiful, does not miss a beat check out all the assembly details everything is done 100% correct 
on this automobile. Yeah, look at all the details here. These are the areas that often on the restoration you can see some cut corners. Sometimes it's literally a cut corner. Sometimes it's just what we call a cut corner, but this car doesn't really have anything like that. I'll go over the body lines because with these types of cars, they're never perfect. So we'll show you what this has. Hood to your driver's side fender, hood to the passenger side fender, and then the molding details is pretty nice for what I've seen with these cars. It follows the line beautiful. Here's the gap on this side, about an inch or so about the same on this side inside the bumper nice and clean molding details uh, the gap door to quarter you can see right here door to fender again the lower molding sits nicely follows the body lines quarter panel molding is probably as good as I have seen them follows the body line nicely nice fit here in the back of the rear body panel the trunk lines And the color matching is impeccable because you, you have to remember that some of these panels were painted in a different paint gun application. For example, this rear panel, those are made from plastic. So they have to be painted from another gun application. And the color match is very, very close. Um, on the daylight, uh, it's, it just looks impeccable. Uh, I'm following the body line on the quarter panel molding. It's very, very good. You can see for yourself the molding on the rocker panel is actually very very clean right there and we pretty much made our way around the vehicle nice polished stainless steel wiper arms proper original ones the wiper blades are proper ones and then the inside is beautiful the inside is close to new vehicle condition all around all the way from the carpet from the oops hold on hard to do things with one hand look at the seat and how it's refinished in the back everything was overhauled every part of this car was overhauled by the restorers that did an amazing job. So let's get this started. Wow, it starts in the way, let's go. That's how it starts. Let's not waste any time, let's have fun. So we're gonna put it back in the showroom. Very enjoyable car to drive. So we have the vehicle back in park. It's inside our showroom. Turn the engine off. So thank you very much for staying with us. 
and watching this video of the 1967 Chevy Chevelle that was beautifully restored by the team of skilled professionals and car enthusiasts. They not only restored the 67 Chevy Chevelle to look beautiful, they also made it look super sport. To the detail, to the sticker, it looks like a super sport with 396. So if you are interested in this vehicle, please visit our website, alphacars.com, A-L-P-H-A-C-A-R-S.com. You can also give us a call at 978-263-9000. And we're all car people, we're car enthusiasts. We'd love to talk about this car and any other vehicle in our hand-selected inventory. We have four locations, we have beautiful showrooms, and we have cars ranging from uh, a cute little K car, Plymouth Reliant, to a 1969 all 100% original Jaguar XKE right there. But this K car has something that XKE doesn't have. It has a CB radio, CB radio factory installed CB radio in this K car. So if you always wanted to have the car with CB radio, check out this Reliant. Thanks again and stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please let us know which videos you like the best by simply clicking the like button.